what's up, Field Pro? Go Foxy Gaming here, and today I'm gonna be talking about my top five favorite bosses in Terraria. Now, I really want to make this list. I mean, seriously, I really wanted to. Terraria is like one of my favorite games of all time. But when I get my stuff, the Adobe Flash Editor and a decent computer, a camera, and a mic, none of these bosses are gonna make one of the top ten final bosses. A Opram is not the final boss of the Constitution. B, I actually can't play the Constitution because I don't have any money and my computer is slow as hell. And C, let me just take a little too long because I'm just caught in worlds for my game. But I have been playing fair. So anyway, let's just get to the top five bosses of Terraria. Number five is the Wall of Flesh because it looks cool, I swear. There's never been many truly disgusting bosses. I mean, it kind of also reminds me of the Wall of Flesh from that episode of Adventure Time. The tree shrunk, Finn, and Jake actually had to go get a crystal apple, and they brought into this like little flesh pile, which turned into a giant wall with eyes and a mouth. Okay, maybe one hand, but you can call the hunks the hands. It's basically the end game, or normal mode, and beginning. So basically it's like a, you finish the game, and now you're in like new game plus. Where it feels like your, your little molten armor is not good, and your little, little bow is not gonna do shit to get an actual gun. But, yeah, I have nothing else to say. Number four, Brain of Cthulhu. I like this, okay? Crimson is my favorite biome. Because I love gore. I mean, you would know me, I love gore. It's one of my favorite things, especially in Helsing. I suggest you watch it. Helsing Ultimate is so fucking good. Back to the list. Brandon Cthulhu. It's the oh, it's one of the only organ bosses. I mean, we have Eye of Cthulhu and a Brain of Cthulhu. And then the Wall of Flesh. Those are the only organ bosses in the whole game. Skeleton isn't Skeletron is not an organ boss, because a bone is not an organ. I just like how it's the only boss that can actually confuse you. And it, even though it drops like the worst item in expert mode, it's still a great boss. Number three is a tie. Eater of Worlds and a Destroyer. They're basically the same. I mean, in Eater of Worlds, you chop off like a middle or something like a couple spaces below the head. It becomes two. Now, the, now Destroyer does the exact same thing, but the more damage you do to it, the more drones appear. That basically fills in for the splitting mechanism. And they're both pretty fucking badass. They're both long snake monsters that can actually destroy the like a, like a big chunk of the world if they wanted to with the tunnels. It's pretty good though. Number two, I actually have to do this. Duke Fishron. Very fucking hard boss. I've only beaten him once. He's that difficult. I had to get my best wings, shit ton of chlorophyte bullets, and my mega shark. And just fly from left to right, and if I was lucky, I didn't have to make it all the way to the right of the map, because I didn't have a good battle strategy. I was a noob. I was lucky. Every time I died, I'd save and exit, I'd exit and not save, and bam, he'd be dead if I'm lucky. I'm just lucky I got the trophy on my first try. Every time I've ever done it with like my friends, never gotten the trophy. Okay, for honorable mentions, I would have to say for for two honorable mentions, Skeletron Prime for one, he does look badass, but a little bit too hard. I I don't like it that much either. And the second honorable mention, I have Cthulhu, my first boss ever. It was still one of my favorites. For number one, it's the twins. I'm just a sucker for gore, but even though they're mechanical, they're still fucking eyeballs. And it's really cool, though. There's been a lot of fan art of them. Like, there's one about cat and dog being them, which I don't understand. But it is a great boss, no matter what. It basically challenges you. You can't get too close to spasmatism. But you also can't get too far away from Retinazer. Retinazer being the laser man, and Spasmatism being the one that has fire. 
I like their both phases. Once you damage one enough, and now it's in cost edition, as soon as they're down like 70% of their health, they now transform into their second phase. Because they're a little bit too overpowered with their damage. Retinazer doesn't do much damage, but he but he fires fucking fast. And Spasmatism, his flames do like like 200 damage a hit. That's insane. That's more damage than the Moon Lord would do to you if you had like like adequate armor. But in my final words, Spasmatism and Retinazer, the twins, are by far my favorite boss until I get to play the console edition. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sure those Terraria fans are like, hold on, what about Plantera? That's like one of the best bosses out there. I forgot to add her as an honorable mention, all right? She's a good boss. I like the area. I don't, actually, I don't like the area. I don't like the jungle. But either way, Plantera was a good boss. The one thing I hate about her is it's not an honorable mention. I mean, I forgot about it. And it's not in the actual list. The bulbs don't spawn as much in the console edition. You'd only find one if you're lucky. In my world, I couldn't find any. So that's the reason she's not on the list. But anyway, this has been Foxy Gaming. I'm talking about my top five favorite Terraria bosses. If you want, you can like for another list, a top five biomes, top five anything from the console edition. Or if you want, you can maybe do another list, or I could go record some more Dark Souls. Or any game that I have. I'm just started getting into I Am Alive. So in case you want me to record where I left off on my first playthrough. I would be happy to record it. Since it's like one of my favorite games now. Anyway, peace out Pirates Cove. I will see you later.